Christmas is Tata. Oh, Poland. Poland, 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 Poland. What am I doing here? This place is maybe crazy. Ee ho, ee ho, ee ho. Da da, ice, da da, piano, da da, flowers, da da, tears, da da, pendulum, da da, vanilla, da da, Don Quixote. Art is junk, the urinal says. Dig a hole and swim in it. I was born in Brooklyn and grew up in the Bronx from uh, immigrant parents who had come to the United States 10 years before I was born. My parents were from Poland. I know as a, as a fact that by the time I was even into my uh, early teens, I was talking poetry. I was uh, talking of myself uh, as, a, uh, as a poet. I uh, graduated from high school, uh, putting into the high school yearbook, uh, you know, my ambition, uh, you know, to be a you know, poet. He was very, very serious about literature, and he wasn't very serious about anything else. I will change your mind, any means equal methods to that end, to oppose the devourers, bureaucrats, systems makers, priests, etc. Blake. I look for new forms and possibilities, but also for ways of presenting in my own language the oldest possibilities of poetry going back to the primitive and archaic cultures that have been opening up to us over the last hundred years. I became a beaver in 1968. Richard Johnny John was my father. The ceremony took place in the longhouse and was very brief. They said some words in the Seneca. I got a new name. I didn't know if they were serious, but the name was great. In dream, the beavers come to Harry Watt. A child could speak. Communication were standing in a row. They said I would not harm them, would not ever after hunted mink and badger, but the beavers were my friends and helped me. So his story began, and I knew it. But also hearing what he said, hearing I knew it, was with me from before my time, and I knew it as a memory of my own. I think uh, a, a number of, uh, of immigrant families uh, found it difficult to speak about the, uh, 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 the old country. Uh, you know, one, one could go into you know, various explanations uh, of that, but uh, uh, when I came finally to the decision to do a, a series of poems called Poland 1931, trying to, uh, you know, salvage in some sense uh, my own memories or lack of memories about that, and I didn't want a literal Poland. I, I wanted the Poland of my mind and my imagination. My mind is stuffed with tablecloths and with rings, but my mind is dreaming of Poland, stuffed with Poland, brought in the imagination to a black wedding, a naked bridegroom hovering above his naked bride. Mad Poland, how terrible thy Jews at weddings, thy synagogues with camphor smells and almonds, thy thermos bottles, thy electric fogs, thy braided armpits, thy underwear alive with roots, O oh Poland. Poland, 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 Poland. So you're talking about the dead. You're talking about a ghost doubleganger of Rothenberg in 1931 and imagining what was there which isn't there at the same time. So it's evoking that which is gone. The word he dreams is Dada. Dada. Ice. Dada. Piano. Dada. Flowers. Dada. Tears. Dada. Pendulum. Dada. Vanilla. Dada. Don Quixote. Dada. Human. Dada. Archipelago. Dada. Pharmacy. Dada. Sexennial. Dada. Dichotomous. Dada. Dichroic. Dada. Dichrotic. Dada. Didactic. Dada. Delphian. Dada. Deluvial. Dada. Ding dong. June 23rd, 1916. For that evening's reading, he had made himself a special costume. His legs were in a shiny blue cylinder which came up to his hips so that he looked like an obelisk. Over it, he wore a huge coat collar cut out of cardboard, 
scarlet on the inside, gold on the outside. It was fastened at the neck in such a way that he could give the impression of wing-like movement by raising and lowering his elbows. He also wore a high blue and white striped witch doctor's hat. A glass tube ecstasy for Hugo Ball. Tabla tupta tupta takabala taka tak. A glass tube ecstasy escapes from time. Ba bula mba lam. The image and the word over your bed hang crucified. Again the cabaret explodes. Again, again fatigue. One foot in glass. A glass nerve and a priestly gas. Pump pulls her hair out. That Dot of Strain is a wonderful um, book that emphasizes this Sara Dadaist moment in his work, the zany, the mad cap, and so on. And, you know, in, in an American context, uh, the Gra Groucho Marx becomes a kind of a Tristan Sara figure, so that that mad cap that we have in our popular culture also for him is related to the, this disruptive aspect. That Dada strain. Da zigzag. Mothers of the gods of science. The lunatic fixed stars and pharmacies. Fathers who left the tents of anarchism unguarded. The arctic bones strung out on censure men like Tom Toms, living light bulbs, aphrodisia, art is junk, the urinal says. Dig a hole and swim in it. A message from the grim computer. Yeah, <laughs> we screwed that up. <laughs> there is an incredible humor, you know, despite the fact that we are dealing with the first occasion in our century where millions of people were killed in the Somme, near, in Verdun, and so, and so on, so on. Those who were really opposed to it and those who showed why one had to oppose that stupid nationalism that had created the possibility where all these people, all these soldiers, uh, died for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Going in the house of the dark and hogan omens of her at my house. When my wing, none my wing. Once Jerry got close to the sources, he suddenly was thrust into kind of musical realizations, which he saw as a new way to, to, to take his work. I don't think he felt opportunistic about it. I think he felt that he could make them more intelligible, clearer, more powerful in translation by generating the sound structures. I have most recently been translating American Indian poetry, including the meaningless syllables, word distortions, and music, and have been exploring ancestral sources of my own in the world of Jewish mystics, thieves, and madmen. Cockboy is um, a kind of mispronunciation of cowboy with the cock prominent, and so it uh, becomes uh, another very extravagant, possibly obscene gesture uh, in this poem that kind of catches your, your ear and eye in its outrageousness. Uh, and it has this fantastic, funny Jewish accent of the Baal Shem Tov, uh, who is the kind of uh, symbolic figure of Jewish mysticism and the Kabbalah. When the Baal Shem visited America, he wore a strimal. The locals all thought he was a cowboy, maybe from Mexico. A cockboy? No, a cowboy. And a lonely rider.
rider, saddle sore, is me, my grandfather, and other men of letters, Jews and Gentiles, entering the domain of Indian, who bring the law to wilderness and gold mines and shaky stores, the fur trade, heavy agriculture, ballots, bullets, barbers, who threaten my beard, your hair, but patronize me and will make our kind the senator from Arizona, the champion of their law, who hates us both but dresses as a Jew one day, an Indian the next, a little Christian schmuck. What am I doing here? This place is maybe crazy. The main aspect to what goes on to bring the Jew out into the West, it, it, it seems like Blazing Saddles, a little bit Mel Brooksian in that way, is to create an identification with uh, the Kurban or the uh, Shoah, the extermination, systematic extermination of the European Jews uh, in the 1940s uh, with uh, the uh, genocide of uh, Native Americans and Native American culture. So there's almost no uh, direct mention in, uh, in Poland 1931 uh, you know, of Holocaust. It comes up one or, one or two places. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's almost specifically there. But there, there's, there's uh, no need for that uh, uh, specific. It's the, uh, uh, it's the underlying uh, reality. And anybody who reads uh, Poland 1931 uh, you know, will get the idea. In the dark word, Hurban, all their lights went out. Their words were silences, memories, drifting along the horse roads onto Malkina Street, a disaster in the mother's tongue, her words emptied by speaking, returning to a single word, the child word spoken red-eyed on the frozen pond was how they spoke it, how I would take it from your voice and cradle it that ancient and dark word, those who spoke it in the old days now held their tongues. People like Jerry and me are what's left of European Jewry, even though we were not from Europe, and less so for me, because the whole Jewish intellectual secular culture of Europe was destroyed. Now, it is true that there are Jews that also went to Israel and so on, but one part of that heritage of of the Ju European artists and is is with us, and it's a kind of haunting. As the twentieth century fades out, the nineteenth begins again. It is as if nothing happened, though those who lived it thought that everything was happening. Enough to name a world for and a time to hold it in your hand, unlimited, the last delusion like the perfect mask of death.